Developing at this hour, the high school chemical explosion injuring more than a dozen students and a teacher in Tennessee. The Merrill Hyde Magnet School evacuated today after a science experiment gone wrong, igniting a chemical fire. Victims were rushed to the hospital, and here's ABC's Steve Osinsami tonight. Investigators tonight north of Nashville are trying to reassure parents that this was an accident and nothing more. To report a fire, they've got a couple students that are going to be transported. The fumes were so great, the whole school seen here had to leave the building, and parents had to come get their kids. Your kids are safe, uh, and we've got the other ones transported and at the appropriate care facilities uh, for them to be taken care of. School officials at Merrill Hyde Magnet School say it was a science experiment in a high school chemistry lab that grew into the fire. 17 students and their teacher were hurt and had to be triaged right outside the school. All the students are out front. I just want someone to slow everybody down. Come around the corners. They sent at least nine of them who breathed in fumes and suffered chemical burns on their arms and legs directly to local hospitals. It's boric acid and ethyl alcohol. When uh, they came in, we set up the decontamination tents um, and had them wash off. These same chemicals were responsible for this fireball nearly four years ago Ready? at a children's museum in Reno. 13 were burned. And Steve Osinsami with us live tonight as well. Steve, you just pointed out there that we've seen these kinds of accidents before, but officials say this was a first-year teacher who was conducting this experiment? That's right, David. And authorities are crediting school administrators with doing the right thing and moving quickly. This school is expected to reopen tomorrow. David? Steve, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.